Welcome back to T2 TV. We've just had the 30 second start for the second map of Hacks vs. R2. Seconds. This is the Oceania 7 man competition. 10 seconds. Nice of them to give me a fair bit of bloody warning there. But <laughs> 5, 4, Follow zero patience. 3. Match begins now. <laughs> for the start, since he seems to be offense, uh, Hacks took out the first map 10 8 up to 5. But this is the second map of the two. There are no tiebreakers in this competition. It is simply done on the amount of points you get, or the amount of scores you get. CP taking off in heavy as we see the first of the R2. Heavy O back, go back over his head. CP heading through the middle. Fires off the obligatory mortar and gets the obligatory wave laser, laser laser at him or something. <laughs> oh, come on, son. Look interesting. This is the R2 base looking at here under a fair bit of mortar spam from various people. That's Gav bouncing around the front of the attack from Talon. Nice shock lamp there, didn't manage to kill him that. So Gav continues bouncing around, being still a hassle for a little bit by the LB, but not very much. And it looks like ZT heading into the base there. ZT is. See what's up against him. This is Zorg from R2 as the hot. One of the LD, Zorg gets taken out. ZP also gets taken out by Zorg. There's mutual water spun there. And Zorg wanders back into the flag stand and looks for a place to hit up. R2's base, or R2's uh, turret, well and truly dead. Along with Hax's first grab of the game from Raiden from Hax as he takes off his medium with pretty much full health under a bit of chain gun fire. Under a lot of chain gun fire, he gets taken down very nicely by the R2 defence, but he's made it off that little ski ramp and almost back to his own base, loses a bit more health to the ground, which he can't really afford. He's got absolutely nothing of missile comes out after him. That was from Shafikus. I believe, yes, taking out Raiden. That was a grab and a drop from Wackity, I think. Uh, Gav, meanwhile, with a grab. He's in heavy with full health, having, I think, just used his health kit. Okay. The chain guns come out after him after a while. Very nice MA mind disc there as he tries to bounce off the ground with a disc and fails miserably. That flag is now picked up by Raiden doing a bit of midfield support as he just jumps off. Skiing off down the hill in a light with about half health. This is looking better from Hax. Currently two grabs to one in their favour. And Raiden makes it back into his flag stand shoot. Give it up for the Hoff. Team Storm. Score. Bathos doing the Hoff duties for Hax. ZP now with a grip. With a second grab, he takes off with almost full health as a heavy. Missile comes out after him along with a disc. Not a lot else as he just jumps off and cruises along the highway home. And he's going to take this one out as well. R2 need to pick this up. And ZP comes in for what should be the second cap and... Team Storm! Score! The bugger doesn't give it off to Zantos. R2 is base looks well and truly down, flags down, flags down under a lot of spam pressure, Zorg goes down, killed by his own mortar, Shafikus, Shafikus with a quick grab for R2, but he doesn't get anywhere with it, still on R2's flag stand, just watching everyone coming in and out and in and out all over, Zorg going, shit I'd like to be a hot, but I don't have him, Talon also there I think, sitting around the flag stand with him, plenty of spam coming in from the hacks team, Zero patients moving into the play stand again as the mortars go down. Zorg gets taken out while he tries to blast it. The ZP takes off with the flag. <laughs> Helping get very far with it. He manages to take out Lotho who was chasing him and manages to hit himself with a mortar. He won't get out the front door with this one by the looks. He barely does as the LB cluster around the flag to return it. Hax still dominating this map quite easily. 204 to 2. The same scoreline they had on Damnation after about this time as well. 26 minutes left in the map, we should see a cap out one way or the other. Not enough people to maintain a lockdown on this map. You can idea if ever had tells me that Hax has 25 kills to R2 7 so far in this game, so maintaining over a 4 to 1 average there. Oh, sorry, almost a 4 to 1 average as we cruise back to the Hax base to see what's going on. 
game going on on either way, but Raiden, meanwhile, takes off with the R2 flag. He's going very, very high as three chain guns cha crank up after him. He's still going. He's still trying to climb into the air. He's going to die from the ground if he doesn't die from the chain guns, but later which take him out first. A very quick grab there by Sarge, taking it off the ground. He whipped off with his chain guns. Hey. Going away and all sorts of weapons coming out after him. Chain guns and blasters and fists and the odd bit of flare offense, I think. But Sarge makes it back into the flag stand. No, he doesn't. He throws the flag off a bit prematurely. He's forced to pick it up again. He gets shock lands down by to God. <laughs> On his own team. Raiden picks up the flag and should come in the easy score. And score. he does. Team killing going on by the hack team there. Xanthos wondering what the fuck's going on there. He flies around him. That was a quick grab and drop by Gav. Raiden having a bit of a wab. Sarge hurts him. CP now picks it up off the flag stand. About half health after his fist jump. He gets tanked down about a quarter by a laser. There's a chain gun somewhere in front of him, and there's a lot of people somewhere in front of him. He gets body blocked and shock lands by Talon. Doing a bit of the old LD work in midfield by the looks. It's Talon on screen now. Hi. Wait for the camera son. Base is still down. R2 not managing to hold their base at all. We'll just go down and see what's going on here. That's Bahal doing the HO. All the old E's fussing around downstairs and trying to grenade the damn way out of trouble. And it makes it quite nicely. Three kills in quick succession there as Gav takes off with very little health off down the hill. Wackity ABA um, manages to grab the flag and hold on to it more than five seconds, but he still doesn't manage to actually get out the bloody flag stand with it. Play room. And this is R2's flag, I think, that returns Zorg as many kick it up and then up. Finally. Just in time to die at the hands of ZP yet again at one side of that contest. <coughs> ZP with a very bad dish jump off the flag stand and cruises off down the hill. The LD come out after him as he drops the mortar behind him trying to catch them. Comes off the little ski ramp but gets body blocked I think by one of his teammates again. Hacks are not taking this very seriously at the moment I don't think. This is Raiden with the flag stand, with the flag now. Having performed a beautiful body block on ZP, he just cruises blackly up the hill. He goes, oh look, who can I spam grenade that? And bubbles in for him. Easy cap. Scores. The Hull moving into the hat of the R2 flag stand, getting under a bit more pressure this time. Doesn't make you get any kills with those little waters. He wanders around the flag stand to try from the other direction. There he goes, Bombo. He was on the flag stand, so I think he might have been taking over the hot duty. R2's flag, oh sorry, R2's generator goes down again, the flag's still in position. Please across and see what Xanthos is up to. Yeah, it's all mute. Oh, to God taking out Vanilla with a shot lane, so it's Xanthos. Wanders around his base with gems down. I can hear a repair pack going, so this one should go up again in short order. Bahal going, oh my god, I can't possibly attack in a light, I need a generator. Quiet! Raiden takes off for the flag, he doesn't get out of the flag stand yet, he's only got about a quarter health as of life. Wanders down into the main base, generator down again for R2. Bounces past the uh, daughter thing. He just throws the flag down the hill in the vain hope that someone needs just to pick this one up. Should be three R2 players, I think, all around it. Under a bit of pressure, though, they finally manage to return that, or Lotho does anyway. Gav, meanwhile, promptly takes the flag again and loses it in very quick succession. Thanks to Xandrax's disc. Looks like R2 starting to stack their flag a bit more. You can see about three people hanging around it, maybe four. As a light comes in to have a go at it. Raiden in the flag stand. He's still alive somewhere. Let's see if we can pick him up. There he goes. He's down main base having mind disc fights with the idiots. 410 to 3 in favour of Axe. Part 2 not having a lot of chance in this map, I suspect. Xanthos um, still on the flag for Axe. He's turning his back into the hacks 
flag stand, so you have 30 flag stand, having a bit of a spin. Doesn't get anywhere with it though, it's how I'm taking that, which is going to be a mine in there somewhere as well. Heavy with the minions going all over the place there. Vanilla manages to get out of the flag stand, or the flag room, for R2, only just so he's got very little help. He tosses that flag off, he's looking for some help, gets returned by Sarge. Quite timely fashion. 410 to 4 now in favour of Hax. We'll watch him and see if he can maybe fall in some lava on a ski route. He's got a flag with his cloak pack on. <coughs> now manages to get all the way back over without getting hit by a single bit of chain fire, despite the fact that there's three or four of them after him. He's going to need a bit of help here soon. That was a wackety R2 with a quick grab of Hax's flag, not getting anywhere with it. Gav still with very little support. This is Sarge now finally taking it off him. Disappointing of R2 not to actually get a single bit of chain gun fire on him the entire way over. Victory. But Sarge yeah. takes out the map. Fourteen and twenty-three yeah. kills to Bahal. Gen offense having a bit of a spam. Tell him quite scared that he actually beat someone on the opposition team. But total domination over two maps for Hacks over R2, five hundred and twelve to five. Thanks all for tuning in, and I shall see you again tomorrow night for some match. I can't remember which. It's RP versus Nuts.